Interestingly, despite being a really, really fun map to play and being an absolute home run in terms of aesthetic, I never played Siege um, on servers before or anything like that. I just discovered this for the first time when I was like looking for maps to do for the uh, Team Fortress Classic videos here. Um, it's really good, and it's got a readme, so we're going to take a look at the readme, and I'm going to read it, you know, because <laughs> it's a readme. That was not funny. Anyway, yeah, it's a nice a fancy HTML file. I, I always kind of feel weird when the that's a thing. So yeah, title Siege by someone named Omega. You can go bug them at their Hotmail, remember those? And release date was February 28, 2004. So this is like, yeah, this is after it had already been moved to Steam and teleporters or a thing. So basically the game as you know it now... It was as it is now, and then like that's when this map was made. So yeah, here's a website which I'm not gonna click on because I might get twenty thousand viruses and like it'll make me download more RAM in order to fix it. Uh, description: Capture the flag. Additional info: You can find me in at ne Never Identity and see. I know what that is, but I'm just too stupid right now. On the RIC server, Game Surge. I wonder if Game Surge is still around. I like to thank Mulchman. I remember Mulchman. I know you. You're a great map designer. For giving me extensive feedback, making me finish the map, and letting me jack his neato HTML readme file. Ah, I see, you're a thief. I'd like to thank Eat for the beautiful Jedi Knight 2 textures. And yeah, you're going to notice that right away. This has a definite Star Wars theme going on here. Um, I'd like to thank Big Richard for making some custom textures and being gay. Alright. I'd like to thank Sock for the custom skybox and grave. I guess there's a grave here. I don't actually remember that. I'd like to thank NF for hosting the map files and letting me use the server to play test. Excellent. I'd like to thank Ever Azar Azarel. Azarel is, is, I know how to say that word. I'm stupid and tired right now. I'm recording this at 12, basically. For giving me heavily extensive feedback. Awesome. I'd like to thank the playtesters that showed up for the playtest. I put your names in the credits wall at the start of the map. Hopefully I didn't forget anyone. Let's hope not. Play information. Single player. Negative. Deathmatch. Negative. Cooperative. Negative. Team Forge is classic. Yes! Difficulty settings. Negative. New sounds. Negative. New textures. Yep. Some Jedi Knight, Knight 2 ones from Eat. Size. Medium large. Recommended number of players. 10 to 18. I recommend 24. Uh, to be completely honest. But, you know, that's probably a good size, too. Construction. The base. Scratch. Though it was originally planned to be based off of the Quake map, Siege. Which I don't believe I played Siege, either. Like, in Quake. Yeah. Editor used. Valve Hammer Editor. Alright. Node bugs. NONE! Build time. Around six months on and off. Which, again, that's quite a long time. Alright. Yeah, here's some bullshit no one now... Well, I always want to say bullshit no one cares about, but, you know, that this is still kind of fascinating just to look at, like, you know, computer specs back in the day. Remember when Pentiums were considered, like, you know, top of the line, like, you know, CPUs? Yeah, those were the days, weren't they? And, yeah, here's some compile times. Eventually planned to be based off of the Quake Map Siege, but it ended up being pretty different. All right, yeah, we know installation, it's copyright. This level may be distributed via any medium, any medium, internet, BPS, CD-ROM, compilation disk, as long as it maintains the name siege.bsp and is supplied in a zip file called siege.zip that also contains this text, HTML document, and no other files. Also, if you wish to put it on a publication, magazine, CD-ROM, please send me a copy also. My email is listed above. Copyright 2004 Omega. And yeah, here you go. So yeah, that's all the uh, other people he wants thanks here. Playtesters. Animated. Riven. Israel again. Um, Sprax. Fried Bunny. Big Richard again. F Probe. Kenobi. Uh, Darth Grey. Death Knight. Unprofessional. Vision. Ian. Geromonimo. Axion. Warlord. Superfly. Nine. We Weather by. Delfuso. Mickey Moore. Blix. NF. D Donkey Country? Is that supposed to be one name? I don't know. And Mulchman. Neat. See, right away, jumping from this guy, or, or these people right here, you're gonna know right, right away that, like, you know, look at the aesthetic. This has got a really, like, you know, modern-looking design. Really urbane and modern-looking. I don't know why it's specifically urbane. But it's just, in general, it just looks a lot cleaner. In a, it's a hard way to describe than a lot of other maps you'd see, like, on the Gold Source engine. And again, the light choice is just great. It's very subdued. But, you know, the sides are almost, like, stand out completely. And, yeah, as you can see, here's that kind of Star Wars thing. There's the 
bad empire people. Yeah. And yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the damn rebels over here, rebel scum. Yeah, right there. Alright, so here you go. So yeah, it's kind of unique because like it is symmetrical. But as you can see, it's not like a lot of symmetrical maps in this game where the bases like are looking at each other. As you can see here, they kind of do this thing where it's like there are you can see the other base and all that, and like the capture point and the sniper area, pretty much like from a, like an angle, and it like you know it's a really interesting way that you can use in order to like you know snipe people and set up defense and stuff like that. So you really want to take advantage of the little pool here thing, which will provide you like waterways into both bases, and you can get from the your waterway like you know consider assuming you have the air or are brave enough to like you know peek your head above here. To go all the way to the other base, which we'll take a look at those waterways in a second. So, as you can see here, this is where you capture, so it's really risky to capture on this map. Because obviously you can get shot at it basically at any point. So you gotta make sure if you got the flag that there's not some like super spy over there. Like, you know, just holding down the fort. So let's enter the base here. You got your one little entranceway here. Obviously there's two ways to go. You know, doesn't really matter too much. You got your central area here, which is a lot of good places to set up sentries. As you can see, the engineers have gone and going. A lot of good places to be heavy weapons guy, stuff like that. Um, if you go up this way, this is how you can get up to the um, top area here. Without, like, you know, conk jumping and stuff like that. You got a nice little area to, like, to build stuff here. I don't know, maybe you want to build a, dis like, the dispenser or something. Go right ahead. Here's your resupply area, which is nice. If you enter one of these things, I think you resupply immediately into max. I really like that, but there's a stupid message that appears every single time we respawn in this map, and I remember not being too big a fan of that. Um, anyway, so let's go this way first. This is I, one of the ways you can get into like kind of the flag area here. Uh, if you're trying to get through this way, this is a good way for spies and like you know maybe like sneakier kind of like you know medics and like you know other offense classes. I don't recommend it though if you're actually trying to capture the flag seriously. If you're just trying to go like work together with someone else in general offense, maybe take this way. You really want to take the waterway, and I'll, I'll point out why in a bit. You got this lower area here, which again, there's another spawn area. Elevator works great, and this elevator will lead you right over, um, apparently to a, a dancing uh, sniper. But it actually also leads you to your capture area here. So this is the, if you spawn there, make sure you take advantage of that immediately. Um, obviously there's a lot, a lot of places to be defensive and like build stuff. As you're going to see right now, this map, the bots tend to be... Very defense based, but you know that's that's nothing to do with the actual map itself. You know, just Foxbox being Foxbot. So yeah, there you go. Now that's why I said there was that one way over there you could get in. Uh, I brought up the water. Fucking mouse. God damn, I fucking hate this thing. One second. Happy birthday to you. You know how much, like, fear got struck into my heart after that that just started? Like, without, like, any warning? Like, I, I, I don't know if you saw it earlier. I was, I was actually not even going to bring it up. But someone threw, like, a present as one of the grenades. Um, I don't know if it was someone's birthday. It's someone's birthday, like, involved with the map. I don't know one of the special thanks people or maybe the creator. But I don't remember turning birthday mode on or anything. And, yeah, that scared the living shit out of me. And I'm pretty sure I just soiled my undergarments. So, uh, yeah, let's just ignore all that for now and get back to what we we're going to talk about. Again, I really love the map design and the aesthetic. It is so good. Um, but, yeah, see, I'm bringing that up because if you go this way, this will lead you to the water area. And, like, I can't, I really can't stress enough. It is a long, like, I'm not going to lie. You got a lot of, like, you know, ground to cover. But especially if you're a medic or scout or something, this shouldn't be a problem at all. And you will absolutely be going through here in order to get the, <laughs> capture the flag. Now, obviously, if you're like, the, this is your base, you want to build your defense right here. Because if not, like, look how easy it is to go here, grab the flag, especially if this area is under, def like, you know, defended. And to go back and just go through the water again, yeah, it's not, it's not going to bode well for you. And yeah, that's how you get back to the uh, little central area here. And that's really the whole map. It's really simple in terms of, like, you know, there's not many, too many, like, paths to take or, like, you know... Demo man blowing up stuff or anything like that or even like you know places to abuse the conk jumper or like rocket jump or anything It just plays really good. It's got nice flow um, Obviously it'd be a little bit better if the bots are a little bit more aggressive 
but you know, even then, it's like, you know, the charm is pretty obvious. Aesthetic's great. Uh, let's just play the damn thing. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the reference, but yeah, every time you get, like, you know, healed up or anything, that's what, like, you know, that shows up. It, it's mildly sort of amusing once, and then it's just like, who cares? And I pressed the wrong button, because I'm an idiot, but yeah, there you go. See? There is the, uh, birthday present. Oh yeah, and I forgot, too. You can tell I haven't played this map much. I thought those were elevators, but they're actually air ducts. It's only one way, too, so yeah, I could go out the other way, because it was blowing me. But, well, that sounded dirty. Um, but, you know, this one goes out that way. You know, yeah. I, I, it's been actually, like, maybe a week and a half since I last played this, because I've been so busy. I have so many map videos lined up, you have no idea. We'll get around to all of them eventually, though. Obviously, the soldier is a... Well, I pressed the wrong button again. I forgot my reloads on the shift key in this game. Been playing too much opposing force. Um... I really do feel that the, um, soldier is a little bit too slow to- well, that was a fucking, like, risky- Look at this sniper bringing the pain! You're a sniper! You're not supposed to be taking on a soldier so brazenly. Anyway, um, yeah, what was I gonna say? I don't think the soldier's fast enough to really, like, you know, take the, um, water away efficiently. I mean, you know, you could argue, well, if you have enough health and stuff like that, it shouldn't be too big an issue, but, you know, do you really want to... In a real game, do you really want to be, like, get like go through the water there? You either poke your head up in the central area to get shot at by snipers, or, alternatively, get to the other side of the water thing and have to wait around so your health can go back up? I don't think so. It's nice to see the bots are actually trying to attack a little bit more. I swear, a lot of times I play this map, they just sit there. I mean, sorry. A lot of times I played this map, I mean, the, like, the two times I played this map for, like, a couple minutes each. They just kind of stood there and did nothing in their bases, so it's nice to see the taking the initiative. See, I see this one. You can't, you can't take away. You gotta go this way. Which you know, I guess that helps in terms of like you know, uh, making the flag that much harder to defend, especially with the easy waterway being so open to the other team. But you know, eh, I would have liked to have the option. It's preferable you spawn here if you're trying to actually attack the base. Obviously, I don't think there's any way to actually, like, influence the game's decision to do that. It'd be nice. It'd be really nice. Okay, so let me look this... Yeah, okay, yeah. T-Y-R in Australia. I don't know if that's who the birthday thing is, or if, like, you know, that's, like, a quote or something. Like, just randomly. Like, they're the one who put out the quote. I have no idea. Again, that is absolutely startling if you're not expecting it, though. I mean, it's kind of the charm of, like, coming up to these, like, you know, playing these old maps so many years after the fact is that, you know, what weird stuff an author might have, like, snuck in there that's just waiting to be discovered. But, you know, I can't even really feel accomplished for that because it kind of just happened randomly. I mean, it wasn't like that last time I played this. It was just a completely, like, you know, all the grenades and stuff for normal stuff like that. Now, if you got a lot of health, you might want to come up this way anyway. Just to have another way of going. Obviously, don't get shot by... The sniper and then get lit on fire. Yeah, well, there's gonna be. Yep, I don't know why I, I thought there wouldn't be snipers there. You might still want to take the waterway as a soldier if you're halfway through here because I don't I don't think your speed or lack thereof will get you through the um, base area alive, even with all your like weapons and stuff. But yeah, see, see what I mean? How long this is? That's why I don't recommend this for like you know most classes. Like, I had to lose, like, 20 HP to get through that. I mean, it comes back if you take your breath, but again, what are the chances someone's gonna come walking this way? Especially if you're a heavy or something. You just, you wouldn't be able to do it. Alright, let's see if I can make this successful. Probably not, because there's gonna be, like, 50, like, heavy weapons guys, of course. Like, why wouldn't there be? Might as well give you a nice view of what, like, you know... The uh, little like courtyard, like being on the sniper deck from the other end looks like. What are you gonna do with that crowbar heavy weapon, Sky? Are you for real? You're not gonna accomplish shit! Oh, uh, it's Team Fortress? Wait, so is it original Team Fortress's birthday? I might check that up. Okay, I'll leave it in the description if uh, today was the original, like, you know, like, you know, the day of Team Fortress's launch, because that would make a lot of sense. Um, like, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know when, um, 
I don't know when a lot of things have launched. I don't even. I'm not even gonna finish that statement. I'm just gonna point out. I don't know when a lot of games have launched, like really famous ones. I probably should know when they've launched. Oh well. Don't let anyone tell you that Team Fortress original isn't famous because that's one of the most influential games of all time. Damn it. I mean, this is pretty damn. This part, this definitely left an impact on games too, even if it wasn't as like you know, like innovative as like the original Quake incarnation was. Yeah, but it's really unique having the map layout like this with the different bases. I quite like it. I like to see more maps like attempt this kind of symmetrical, but not like directly looking at each other. Like the bases don't run parallel to each other. It's a different feeling. It hits different, even if you know what I mean. Oi! How ironic, a pyro jet pops out of water like a jack-in-the-box. You're a spy, idiot. You're a spy. You're a spy. Maybe not, I don't know anymore. You're a spy. Maybe not- I, I don't fucking know. Why are you just- What are you doing? Why were you doing that? Like that other pyro was doing that, but I got distracted by the heavy weapons guy firing at me. It's so weird. This is kind of balanced too. You can't really hide out in this little area here because you can't see the actual rest of the base. So if you want to get a better shot, you have to step out of cover. It's a nice little balance thing. Same with that one. I mean, this one you can see. No. Actually, yeah, there you go. That's actually smart map design. I didn't even realize that because I hadn't played Sniper before. But yeah, if you want to look out that, well, tough shit. You know, there's a disadvantage to doing that. It makes it like the sniper is less overpowering. Like when map designers do that. Oh, piss. Yeah, just stand there. Go. Okay, move when I'm. Fuck. Oh, I am the worst sniper of all time. I think that's like the imperial proof right there. What? Where the fuck did you come from? Oi! What are you doing? Revenge! Revenge! What the hell? I killed the, I killed the heavy weapons guy. And then I killed the, the Jose. What the fuck is going on anymore? Where the hell's my team? That's what I mean. Fox Boss is just weird here. The red team just decides to give up. And they don't want to, like, attack anymore. Well, that's not my job. I'm going to keep sniping because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm the sniper, damn it. What's over that door sound? Is this place haunted? Possibly, maybe that's why all these birthday messages are popping up. It's a very unique feeling having the map being this quiet, but you know there's so many people on it. Oh, what? It is literally an infant station. I went to just take a piss in the bathroom. Because that's where you take pisses. In the bathroom. Unreal. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, assuming you play with some more aggressive people, this is a really, really fun map. I highly recommend it.